Originally, I calculated the amount that needs to be paid, the net cost, by performing the calculation in stages. But I just want to show you how we can do this in one go. The important thing in my calculation this time is I've used brackets to control the order in which the additions and multiplications are done. You might remember from your maths lessons the acronym BODMAS, which stands for Brackets of Division, Multiplication, Addition and Subtraction. When you're performing a complex calculation, the order in which you perform operations is important to the result. So let's take a look at this. Here, I've worked out the gross cost, unit price times quantity, and from that, I want to subtract the discount, which is the discount rate times the unit price times the quantity. So I've wrapped that up in brackets, and I've wrapped that up in brackets to make sure that what's in the brackets is done first. Finally, I've added on the postage cost. So you can see a fairly elegant calculation here where I've done everything in one go. This, of course, means I don't need the gross cost variable anymore, so I can get rid of this. In fact, I don't need the discount variable anymore either. I can get rid of that. To summarise, then, we have a number of arithmetic operators we can use. We've seen the multiply symbol, the subtraction and the addition symbols. We've also seen how we can use brackets to control the order in which calculations are done if I have a complex expression like this one. I'd better test that and make sure it works. Indeed it does.